Hi everyone, my name is Miss Rhonda and I work for the York County Library System. When we're able to be at the library, we have a story time there once a month called our sensory story time. And this story time is meant for us to be able to use a little bit more of our hands, maybe be a little bit more aware of our ears and our other sensor senses that we use like our seeing, our smelling, and our tasting. So one of the things that we enjoy doing at Sensory is we have crafts at the end. So today I would like to share with you a craft that we might do during one of our Sensory Story Times. We're going to make a rain stick. Now, what we use this for is to simulate the sound of rain when it falls. Can you hear that? So that's going to be something that um, brings pleasure to our ears. So all the things you need to make a rain stick are right here in front of me. You need a um, empty paper towel holder. See if you have one of those around the house. You're going to need some aluminum foil. To decorate your rain stick, you would probably like to use some markers, and then if we decide to tape anything to it as decoration, you'll need your glue stick. You'll need your scissors, something to write with, tape, a cup that is larger than the diameter of your um, paper towel tube because I'll show you why we need that in a few minutes. You're going to need a quarter cup of rice, uncooked, just plain old rice, and a couple sheets of construction paper. And oh, also we need a broomstick and another tube that is a little bit smaller. You could use um, a wooden spoon, but in my case I didn't have a wooden spoon that had a round um, medium so I wound up choosing one of my um, non-disposable drinking straws. Alright, I think that's it. So, first things first, to get started you're going to need to trace the circle of your um, paper towel holder. You're going to trace that on your um, construction paper. Do it twice because you're going to need one for each end. So we're going to do that again. And then next you're going to take that cup that I showed you that needs to be larger than the opening of your paper towel holder. And you're going to set that right around can you see right around that one hole that we traced and we're going to trace another one. Whoop! There goes our broomstick. So we'll trace that. You do it twice. Alright, so you're going to wind up with something like this. Then you take your handy dandy scissors you're going to cut them out. And this is what you wind up with. Two circles. Now, with your scissors, you need to go around these circles and you need to cut about every quarter of an inch up to the marking where you have your your um, first circle drawn. So don't cut through there, just cut up to there. Go all the way around. And you do that with both of those also. Now to the aluminum foil. You need to trim off 
one sheet that is 12 inches, 12 inches long, and another sheet that's 14 inches. So one sheet is slightly longer than the other sheet. See, just about that much bigger. With our first sheet, what I would like for you to do is start to roll it up. The 14 inch sheet, just roll it up, just like this. Roll, 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 roll. Not too tight. Just like that. See? Then you're going to take your broomstick and you're going to twist this around your broomstick. Just like that. So that it's about the length of your paper towel roll. Then slip it off and you've got yourself a little pretty gadget here. Now what are we going to do with the 12 inch one, the smaller sheet? We're going to roll that one up too. But this one we're going to roll up just a little bit tighter. So roll, 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 roll. See, this one's a little bit tighter. Roll, 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 roll. And we got this one just a little bit skinnier than the first one. All right, you see this one? There's this one. Now, we're going to wrap this one around the drinking straw or the spoon handle if you've got a round spoon handle. I don't know why my spoon handles weren't round. They were all square. Until you've got something like this and you slip it off. Very good. Good job. Now, the fun thing, we're going to take our little one and we're going to stick it inside the big one. So find the hole, see right here? Find the hole, and you just wiggle that one right inside the big one. And you've got a contraption that looks like this. There's the little one, and there's the big one. Then you slip both of them together right into the paper towel, I mean, the paper towel holder. There you go, see? It's inside. Once we've done that, this is where we're gonna bring these circles that we made together. So, place your paper towel holder right on the, the markings of the first hole that we did. Do you see, do you see it? And then, because we cut all of those little slits in our paper, we're going to pull them down till they wrap around the um, uh, paper towel tube. Once you've done that, get some tape and you'll need some pretty good long strips and then tape it down. And it's really important that you tape it down nice and secure all the way around. So we keep on going. It's two pieces of tape. Still need some more. That's three pieces of tape. And so with three pieces of tape, whoop! Out came one of my cylinders. Okay. Three pieces of tape has it totally secure, but because we don't want to lose any of our rice rain, I'm going to go around one more time and make sure that it's on nice and tight. Okay, now turn it over 
And this is the fun part. You get to pour your quarter cup of rice. Be very careful and get it all down there into your tube. Hear that sound? It sounds like rain going in, doesn't it? Sure does to me. Okay, our rice, our sound maker is inside. So now we need our other circle. And once again, go around about every quarter. If you can see here, every quarter of an inch until you've gone all the way around. And it looks like this. Now be careful because our rice is inside. So we're going to put this side down now. Do the same thing we did on the other end. Get some tape. If you have somebody, if you have a buddy helping you with this, you might want them to stand there and hold it for you so you've got it nice and stable. Just in case it decides to tip over. And we'll go all the way around till we get it nice and secure, just like the other side. There you go. See, it's all taped up all the way around. But just like on the one side, we're going to go around again one more time because we don't want to lose that rain rice. All right. Well, the mechanics of our rain stick are done. Hear that? Isn't that awesome? But it's always nice to make things look a little bit more um, festive. So, that's where your markers come in handy, and that's where your other sheet of construction paper comes in. So, Miss Rhonda's got one full sheet of construction paper, and you're going to fold it in half, just like this, and cut it right down the middle. And when you do that, you're going to have one half. And that one half just happens to be the perfect size to go around our tube. So, get your tape once again. Tape it down on one side. And then you just roll it around until it meets the other side and you've wrapped it just like a package. And then you'll tape that side down. Now you've totally hidden your um, paper towel tube and nobody is any wiser as to what this is. Once you've done that, you can either um, cut some strips of paper that's what I did here. I cut some small strips of paper and I just used my glue stick and I glued it on. Or you can take your, your markers and you can just draw whatever pictures you like to put on here. Anything would be appropriate. I'm just going to put a heart. Maybe I'll just cover the whole thing in hearts. So there you have it. We have made a rain stick together, and I hope that you will enjoy the experience of feeling like you have rain trapped in a wand. Thank you for joining me today for our sensory craft, and you um, can find other videos on our YouTube York County Library page, and you can also go to yclibrary.org and find books and other things that you can get involved with right now while our building's closed. Be safe. Have fun. Bye-bye.